Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you for all the feedback on my analysis of Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Some of you pointed out that I should have addressed the situation between Smith and Margot Robbie. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video and you are about to learn. Three signals that reveal when a woman likes a man. Body language dynamics when a couple is in sync and a special question you can ask to trigger a reaction and reveal the truth. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy and I want you to uncover the secrets that people try to hide from you. Just in case you're not aware of the situation between Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. As far as 2016, there were rumors that Jada had something besides a friendship with singer August Alsina. In April of that year, the family went to Hawaii, but Will did not appear in any of those pictures. Last June, Alsina dropped all the beans on an interview and revealed that they actually were together for many years with Smith's blessing. That led Jada to bring herself to her show Red table and talk face to face with Will about her entanglement. An entanglement? Yes, an entanglement. A relationship. Oh, right. A relationship. But to be fair, we should go back a few years to understand where all this came from. We have to go back. In October 25th, 2013, Smith and Robbie were wrapping up filming of the movie Focus. That day, they went to a photo booth and took a few pictures where they can be seen really close together and taking their shirts off. And yes, that last sentence sounded like a teenage dream. The photos don't need further analysis. They are really close together and even if they were, like Robbie said, goofing around, you can do a very simple test. Just imagine that your partner or spouse does this with a colleague. A friendly reminder, only Smith was married at this point and she was still months away from having any relationship with her future husband, Tom Ackerley. Two weeks later, the photos were leaked and the rumors began. Now, many people play the card of the supposed open marriage between Will and Jada and I think it's their fault because as far as 2008, when the smartphones still had buttons, both of them said over and over again that they had a grown relationship and they were not going to police each other. Well, this is what trust brings to a relationship. As in, I don't control you, I don't own you. But their statements also could be understood that any of them could do whatever they please. And once public opinion crystallized that concept, there was no clarification that could bring it back, even if Jada explicitly said that they were not in an open relationship. But you know how is show business. Rumors all the time, like when Mark Anthony and JLo split up, and he was very close with Jada at the time. But one image is worth a thousand gossip headlines, and it was not only the photo booth pics that caught attention. And as in every body language analysis, you need many images and videos to arrive at any decent conclusion. So let's start with this pic from 2013. The main theme of all the situations is how their bodies interact. And here, they are standing really close to one another. Yes, she is turning to give that model pose with one foot forward, but even so, she's inside his intimate zone. That's how we call the closest range of human interaction in proxemics. Other times, it's not just a matter of proximity, but also of mirroring. In this picture on set, we see a few characteristics of a synchronized couple. First, their body angles are complementary of each other. Their hands are fully embracing the other and even their opposite arms are mirroring. We also see an almost hidden tip in her feet. She's standing in the same foot forward model pose, but you can spot one of her ankles relaxed. Being in such a close proximity with Smith, it means that she's really comfortable with him. Now, big question. How do we know if Robbie doesn't do this all the time? How do we know that her attitude with Smith was special? We should always do some research to compare situations and you can see, for example, that she doesn't have the same vibe with Leo DiCaprio. Her stance is much more neutral and in some cases she keeps her distance. But the distance between people is just one factor among many and we have to consider how many times do they touch. When a woman likes a man, she will find Find any opportunity to casually touch him and depending on how she touches, 
you can measure the intensity of the feeling. Take for instance this interview in 2016. But who's the, who's the real here? <laughs> she puts her hand in Smith's leg for absolutely no reason. He does the same to her, tickling and sparking a reaction. And by the way, she was still four months away from getting married. At this point, we should make a very important distinction between two meanings of any gesture. Every gesture has many dimensions, but we are going to focus on two. The first one is the biological or anthropological meaning. That gesture is a sign of close contact. Again, she feels comfortable with him and will try to touch him for no particular reason. Touch is a very intimate gesture for any human being and that's where the second meaning comes from. There are cultures where people touch more than others and inside the same culture you're gonna find people that think this is no big deal and others that will feel uneasy about it. That's a discussion that's never gonna end, but discussion or not, the biological meaning of touch will not go away. All these body language clues, whether in relationships or entanglements, also apply when you want to know if someone likes you. But you can't just pick one or two signals and jump to conclusions. You need a better system to read body language. And that's why I created my online body language course that right now has a huge discount that you can access with the link in the description. Now, I like to split body language reading between the body and the face. And there's another video around the same date that has very good clues on how they feel about each other. Watch their body position at the start of the interview. No big deal, right? There's absolutely nothing that says that they like each other. But look what happens a few minutes later. Her body is beginning to slack in the chair and her legs are getting closer to him. That's a tip that reinforces the notion that she unconsciously wants to get closer. Now, I have talked a lot about Robbie and not much about Smith. But the fact is that people like Will Smith are really hard to analyze because they have almost always the same attitude. Smith is usually smiling, playful, charismatic. So how do we know if he's really into her? Well, no matter if someone is always in a good mood, the facial expressions are going to be complete and intense when they really feel that emotion. There are moments like this when you see that all face muscles are working, expressing that delight. When you are reading body language, there is also cause and effect. And if you're reading a couple, you gotta be aware of which gestures in one of them trigger reactions on the other. And I noticed that in that same interview, Robbie was sitting in the original position until Smith began to stroke his own legs. Well, I could give you a scientific explanation, but instead, let's make a very easy experiment. You just have to see this clip. You just saw a bunch of pixels, but I know that you felt that. And it's the same principle that could have triggered Robbie's reaction. She feels comfortable. She likes Smith's attitude and she ends up feeling those leg strokes. That's why she gets her own legs closer to him. There's also the expression on her face. She usually smiles a lot, but as any human being, she's had her fair share of fake smiles. But that look, when you see a full smile, when even if you have strong lights pointing to your face, your pupils are dilated and there's that something that you can't express with words. It shows that she likes what she's seeing. There are many other examples of how comfortable they feel with each other. And that chemistry, well, you can't make that up. Oh, I almost forgot this candid photo on the set of Suicide Squad. That look, though. So, coming back to Jada, we can get a better picture of what the year 2016 meant for her marriage with Will. And maybe we can understand what she meant when she said that she wanted to feel good. Of course, it will be impossible to know if Will Smith and Margot Robbie actually had an affair. But all the clues that we've seen point to a relationship that goes beyond professional. And if Jada had an entanglement... A relationship. Yes, a relationship that started in 2016, whatever happened between Will and Margot happened three years earlier. And the special question that you can ask to trigger the truth 
looks more like an affirmation. Just should. How long have you been seeing each other? And the trick of this question is that it's ambiguous. You're not talking about dating, you are not mention affairs or a relationship or... An entanglement? Yeah, you don't mention an entanglement either. When you ask an ambiguous question, you are forcing the person to add some meaning themselves. And in that split second, they're gonna have a dual reaction, verbal and nonverbal. If they ask you to clarify the question, and they will, simply repeat the question. How long have you been seeing each other? Just act like you already know and it's okay for them to talk about it. You never know what you're going to get. Exactly. One final thought. You cannot create chemistry. No, no you can't it's like, it. You can't. There's nothing you can do. Like you, you either, whatever those things are inside of human beings that are Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my body language analysis and tips. Did I say Jada right this time? Yes? He's doing great. See you in the next analysis.